What's up guys? So I've been having pain from using my regular Microsoft mouse, which I use mainly for browsing the net and video editing. Pain areas are on the bottom of my palm and wrist area. I describe it as a kind of debilitating pain where I literally can't move my wrist and this is about after a few hours of mouse use. I have tried different paddings for under my wrist, but the best thing so far was using my mouse on my lap or my bed, which is right near my desk. Anyway, this wasn't really a practical solution, so I decided upon getting an ergonomic mouse, which essentially what it is, is a vertical mouse, and this particular one that I bought is made by or branded by the company Anchor. The specific mouse that I chose is the Anchor Ergonomic Optical USB Wired Vertical Mouse. So I have been using this mouse now for quite a few days and I have found it to be a bit better than my regular mouse. But I did notice that instead of having all the pressure put on the bottom of my palm, I now have it on the corner of my palm, which is definitely a step up, but there still must be a better solution to this. Anyway, to make things short, there is. And here's the method. Basically, I use my smartphone as a wireless mouse, so there's this app out there called Remote Mouse. The app is compatible with iOS and Android, and it basically allows me to use my smartphone as a trackpad. And I must say, this has greatly reduced the pain in my wrist to nearly non-existent. And one of the few main reasons why is because I don't need to use my wrist anymore to move the mouse. All the movements are done with either my middle finger, my index finger, or my thumb. So it works exactly the same way you would use a touchpad on a laptop. I'm not saying that I solely rely on this as my mouse, but I do switch it up between my regular mouse and trackpad. Now the only con to this would be if you need your battery life for other tasks on your phone throughout your day. But I guess to that I'd say that it would be a good idea to charge your phone as you're using the app. This way you are not left with no battery when you're done using the app. And if you did get a call, you can just plug in your 3.5 millimeter headset while still using the app. However, if you're an iPhone 7 user, then you're pretty much screwed. My name is Jeff. And there's no way to set the mouse sensitivity, at least not that I know of. So that is another con. Now let's get a close look at the app. So you have the tracking area, left and right mouse buttons that operate in the same way as a laptop's touchpad and the middle button between the two mouse buttons when clicked is a scroll arrow which allows you to scroll up or down by simply clicking it and moving your cursor up or down. Now the version that I use is the free version which still has some cool extra features like a keyboard, some media buttons that allow you to control your computer by one tap of a button. It has a swaying mode which I call joystick mode. Basically you enable swaying mode which brings up a button on the track area. You click and hold it and move your phone up and down and side to side and it basically moves your cursor in that direction. So if you did need a joystick and were playing a game like Battlefield or something, you could literally use your phone as an air joystick. So this is kind of cool. Well, basically this is the free version of the app. It is limited, but not to the extent where it's unusable. To the contrary, this app is very usable. However, it is limited in a way that you can't use it in horizontal mode. When putting your phone in horizontal mode, you get an ad that says enable this feature to upgrading to pro. But other than that, there are some other limitations, but nothing relative to what I use this app for. I do get that ad pop up once in a while asking me to upgrade to the pro version, which doesn't really bother me for the time being. Eventually I'll upgrade to pro though. Otherwise, this is a solid app and a great method that I use to manage my carpal tunnel syndrome. Anyway, just wanted to share that. So that will be it for this video. If you did find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.